So uh, her question is, well, she's got the ball going everywhere or going sideways, and there's a lot of twisting in the face. Well, twisting in the face is this. It's what they call pronation and supination. They're just rotating your form. You don't need much of that. This question or comment comes to us from Larsa, and she's got, there's, a, there's like five questions in one. So she says, uh, when you're doing this throw action, can you show me how your wrist, the club face, your elbow, your right shoulder, your hip, I mean, okay, let's just take how your hand, wrist, and arm work, okay? So when I'm throwing a ball, okay, I'm, I'm doing this. So we talked about your wrist goes back and then it goes forward and my wrist lines up with my forearm. So I'm not twisting and doing this kind of stuff. So when I throw a ball, if I threw a ball at this camera, see, I'd throw it like this. So I'd throw the ball, see, my wrist would work that way. There's no way I would twist and twist. Okay, so that same action, this action like this, where there is no twisting. Now my arm, my arm, Let's talk about it for a minute. My arm doesn't swing straight up and straight down and straight up because I'm on an angle. So my arm is going to swing in a slight arc. So it's swinging in an arc. My wrist, this action, is, is working like this regardless of what arc my arm swings in. So uh, her question is, well, she's got the ball going everywhere or going sideways and there's a lot of twisting in the face. Well, twisting in the face is this. It's what they call pronation and supination. They're just rotating your form. You don't need much of that. So my hand is doing this, whether I shoot a basketball or throw a baseball. Now, this is like, here would be sidearm in baseball, so my arm would be going in this arc, and my hand would be working this way. Now, if I take sidearm in baseball, and I all of a sudden bring it down here, Okay, my arm is swinging in an arc, and my right hand is going like this. So it comes in, it runs into the ball, it swings in an arc over here, and it goes this way. Now, if that's what's happening, then the club face is swinging in an arc, it's coming into the ball, the face is slightly closing relative to the target line, but it's staying at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc, and it runs into the ball, it continues around on an arc and the face continues to be at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc. So that's what we're doing right through here. So if my wrist works this way and my arm swings in that arc, then every time I hit the ball, the ball is going to go, it's going to go pretty straight every time. It's not going to curve much. The only way it can curve is if I twist my hand under this way or if I twist my arm over that way. So the key is this wrist is doing this. Now there's a little up and down, but it more, it more feels like it's just going like this. And then your arm, wrist is doing that. My arm swings in an arc. And if I take a hold of people's fingers and I hold their fingers, and this is a drill you can do. So you hold your fingers with your left hand like this and you're not putting your hand right straight down, it's on a, just on a slight angle, and you get here like this, and then you, then you just throw your right arm forward and you just let your hand go. That's what my golf swing feels like. When the momentum of the club takes off, whew, my hands just let the momentum of the club go. So that's how your hands work relative to the face, and it's how your arms work. If you get that, those other things start to kind of show up. You don't want to complicate this and get too many things going. What triggers what? How your hand works and the arc that your arm swings in triggers other things to do what they're supposed to do.